Alright guys, so I'm back. Before I start, I just want to say shout out to Mika That Chick. I'll link her down below, but she requested that I do this video. And as you guys know, I'm always open to taking requests and, you know, doing videos for you guys. Because that's basically why I do them. Um, so shout out to her for requesting this. Um, so she wanted to see how I did my puff. So, since my hair is already stretched, this is just a twist out that I had did earlier. It's kind of messy now, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to wet it with some water. So, I have my spray bottle here. So, really quickly, I'm just going to spritz it. And this is going to be a quick tutorial because this is not a long process at all. This is my go-to style and I think all natural girls should have a go-to style and what that is is a style that when all else fails that's what you go to so after you wet it um, you want to moisturize it somehow I mean you can use whatever you want I'm going to use a Giovanni direct leave-in just going to put a little bit of that really quick and then you kind of just want to pull your hair back um I don't have a brush right now so I'm not gonna be using a brush but you could use a brush or you could use gel to like slick your edges back I'm gonna use it's pretty much done but this was some um, raw shea butter and olive oil and coconut oil that my cousin had mixed up for me and it worked miracles so I'm just gonna use this around the edges just to hold those babies down and after that you're pretty much ready to do your puff so I'm using this you can use um, uh, stocking some people cut their stockings the leg and they use that that'll probably be better because I think this is like some kind of cotton material which isn't good for your hair but this is all I have and I'm not cutting the stocking so what you want to do is you want to start at the back pull it up twist it like just just make a little X and then start pulling it up And then when you pull it up, you kind of want to tighten it as you go. So you pull and you tighten. And then you get it to where you want it. If you want it higher, then you want to pull the back up more. And if not, you know, you just leave it. Um, mine's is fine like this. I usually leave it like this. And then you tie the back. I tie a little bow, but you could tie it however you want to tie it, as long as it's secured. And then you basically just pull the edges out, well the ends of your um, hair out. And that's basically it. You don't really do much. You could accessorize it. I usually put like a little um, headband around it. I have this flower one that I'm like in love with. so. I usually put that around it but if not you could just leave it like this and as you guys can see this was extremely fast I mean mine is a little messy I didn't have a brush so excuse the messiness of it but even if it's like this if you put a headband over it, it'll be fine so if you want to do something quick you know you could always do this let me show you guys the back of it And that is it. That's how I do my puff. So I hope you guys learned something new from this. I hope it was helpful. And thank you guys for subscribing if and if you guys did subscribe. Or if you're thinking about subscribing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tune in for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.